Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch. And today we have a double header of Godot Engine projects here. This first one is probably going to be of the most interest to the majority of you because this is a rare unicorn. This is a fully complete project using C Sharp. So it's a platformer style game. This is from uh, Chickensoft. And as you can see, you go around, you collect coins like so. Now, the big thing about this is this example showcases c sharp development so everything you see here was created using uh, the c sharp programming language and that isn't incredibly common out there so guidance on how to work with c sharp uh, using the godot game engine uh, it's a little bit rare these days so this is a very useful project for people that want to learn c sharp development with the godot game engine also you can see here it is just a full-blown complete game uh in general so at least it's a vertical slice of gaming so if you want to learn how to create a 3d style platformer it is using a number of resources that are available for example uh this 3d model is uh from gd script and, and etc we'll get back to all those details in just a second so that is one of the projects you see here you you got a full menu setup. The other one is much more straightforward, but you might find it interesting. I believe this was demonstrated at GDCon, uh, and this is just an example showcasing uh, various different lighting systems inside of Godot. Uh, it's just a cool environment to see how lighting is set up using Godot 4, uh, and I'll get back to the exact details of it. Obviously, you can see there's also a character controller for interacting with this environment as well, uh, and yeah, very, again, straightforward project, but it does a good job of showcasing lighting in Godot. So if you want to see how to set up lighting in your particular scene in your Godot 4 project, uh, that is what this project is all about. Again, full menu system for it as well. And let's jump out of there. We are going to uh, jump out of this guy as well. And then we are heading into the Godot side of things. So the first project we're going to look at here, this is the game demo. This is a C Sharp project. So if you've wanted to learn C Sharp, uh, this is the platforming example we just saw. Uh, there are a ton of resources behind this one that actually walk you through everything, but this guy is entirely C-sharp driven. Now, this is cutting edge. You literally need to have the most current version of Godot. That'd be Godot 4.2 beta 5. I also got to warn you, when I was setting this one up, I had a lot of frustrations. I understand why people find the C-sharp workflow uh, with Godot a little bit frustrating at this point in time. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is there is actually an error so i shouldn't be running here i don't know if i'm going to get it right here uh that's just an error uh that's a beta 5 thing on top of that i had to clear out nougat i had to uh update my .NET 7 and .NET 8. I'm not sure which one fixed it, uh, but it just would not resolve the uh, Godot uh, .NET packages from NuGet for some reason, uh, no matter what I did, both on Mac and on Windows. So just know when you're dealing with the C Sharp tool chain, things can get a little bit more painful than you probably expect. Uh, the good news is uh, there's thorough documentation. We'll get back to that in just a sec for how to set up a C-sharp project. They've got a full scaffolding of creating projects, a template for making things. Uh, you'll notice here also uh, full, everything here is in C-sharp. Uh, so here it is. I have uh, Visual Studio Code set up to go. So if you've been looking for how to work with C Sharp with the Godot game engine, that is exactly what this project is all about. Every single thing here, no GD script in sight. This is an entirely C Sharp project. And again, that is a pretty rare unicorn in this day and age. So if you've been looking to learn C Sharp uh, and the Godot game engine, this is one of the most, uh, I'd say, mature projects out there uh, in terms of uh, coverage of what it's got here. Uh, uh, so yeah, that is the uh, the project for rule one. The second one here is this uh, environment here showcasing again uh, lighting in Godot four uh, and how you can go about setting it up, the, the world environment, and so on. Uh, it's hooked up as sub scenes, so you see over here you got various different scenes available. Uh, so the outside scene, the menu layer, and so on. So the hangar is an individual scene like so. So you see over here, the grass or the, the outdoor space is a separate sub scene. Uh, so you can see how you can set up a project, how you can make lighting work, uh, interact all of these things, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is now available as well. So in terms of getting a hold of these things, the uh, game demo, this is from Chickensoft. Uh, so this is a full uh, third party C Sharp game with Godot. It's under the MIT license, which is gonna be pretty liberal in what it allows you to do. Um, so pretty straightforward here. It's got some documentation on how to actually set up your C sharp development environment. We'll get back to that in just a second. And then all of the various different, um, the ways they set this up. So it's got, uh, testing via Godot test, uh, super nodes for adding new node scripts using C sharp code generation. Again, they've got a number of 
products or projects or add-ons available that they're using here as well. Uh, this is using test-driven uh, design, uh, auto injection, and so on and so forth. So if you want to get kind of the idea behind the design here, they do have a documentation basically of how everything was set up. Speaking of setting everything up, they also have this guide here on um, setting up Godot C Sharp development. Now, this kind of got a little tricky. Number one, if you have an in-place Godot um, project, like if you've already done some C-sharp development or Godot project development, this is kind of set up so that you use their installer to install it. There's options for not doing so, but they've actually created a command line tool for installing versions of Godot. If you don't use it, I actually ran into problems. Basically, I had to reinstall .NET, and I don't know which version, if it was 7 or 8 that fixed it, but uh, I... Uh, yeah, I definitely had issues with using this. I also, if you don't use the beta 5, uh, you, you're going to run into some troubles with resolving NuGet packages. Uh, but if you do use beta 5, you're going to get uh, a warning or an error in the console immediately. And this is a regressive bug for uh, the beta 5. This is beta versions we're talking about here. So you're going to expect a certain amount of complication here. But this walks through the entire process as long as you're willing to use their tech stack. And speaking of their tech stack, um, they also have this template available uh, which basically is a starting point for creating a C sharp game uh, with debug launch and you know continuous improvement and development stuff in there, code coverage, dependency update checks, and so on. So they have this template to get you up and going uh, with a uh, .NET game in Godot Game Engine if you want it. So if you like their way of doing things, uh, this is an option you've got available. So again, uh, Chickensoft has a number of different projects out there. So you're going to find that they've got uh, this Godot end for setting up Godot from the command line. Uh, they've got the various different things like the testing facility they've got here. The new demo we've just saw, that is the game demo. And of course, you've got the game template. So if you want to work from there, you can. So if you want to get started in C Sharp with Godot or something quite mature, uh, this is an option out there. Just know uh, Godot isn't, it doesn't work as well with C Sharp as it does with GD scripts. Expect some pain, some, some tripping points and so on. I spent longer getting this up and running than I expected to and it's not on this it's on the Godot C Sharp toolchain.net and so on uh, but yeah it, neither of them worked out of the box for me do make sure you use the exact version uh, and make sure that your .NET installs are completely up to date uh, the other thing that we've got here is this abandoned spaceship uh, Godot demo uh, so this is MIT licensed if you want to go ahead and check it out um, it's really straightforward basically just clone it down and run the main scene and you can run around in the scene uh, it shows light banking setup in Godot. Light maps are baked for the hangar and the outside scene separately. Has trim sheet based materials with custom shader for color changing. Vertex color based terrain material for blending between the ground textures. Animated in world video display on the arcade machine. Uh, uses Godot volumetric fog and SSIL and SSAO and temporal anti aliasing in this demo. And reflection probes for, uh, well, the reflections. So if you're interested in learning more about it, that is available there. It uses the simple free look camera add-on as well and some ground textures from Polyhaven and he is working on a project called Blastronaut so that is the the developer behind this demo scene but it kind of shows you how you can set up uh, light maps inside of Godot uh, also again we have all of the chicken soft tools here for C sharp and Godot together but the big new thing here is of course this guy right here this new full functioning game demo uh, which showcases you how to set up third party, or sorry, third person platforming style game in Godot. Uh, and again, there's not a lot of learning materials out there for C sharp development. And the documentation is very GD script oriented. So if you're wondering how to structure your game, how best to have things work, this is probably one of the most comprehensive examples you're going to find. Uh, so once you get the tool chain up and going and you're used to the, you know about like the platform limitations and the other problems with C Sharp, C Sharp could be a good choice for you in Godot, especially if you're coming from a Unity background. Just know there are additional pain points that you would not suffer if you were using uh, GD script, uh, but this this uh, game demo and the C sharp template could actually really help you uh, getting that leg up, getting things started, especially if you like the way they've designed things. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.